Who are you guys? Who are we? We're the Avengers. Things are gonna get pretty ugly. And I'm not talking about the whole boat. Standing right next to you. Oh. Hey. Oh, yeah. hey, hey. Um, don't you think you should apologize? That was a little mean. We have bigger problems. All right, where was I? Oh, yeah. So make my day. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. All right, please forgive me. Come on, just come back. Welcome to Dream Cinema. We're going to be viewing The Avengers 2 Age of Ultron. Now this movie stars, uh, let's get through it. Uh, Chris Evans, Rob Downey Jr., Scarlett Johansson, Samuel Jackson, Chris Hemsworth, Mark Ruffalo, Jamie Renner, Brie Olsen, and Aaron Taylor Johnson. All right, now what the movie is about? Tony Stark creates or, you know, discovers this artificial intelligence that soon is known as the Ultron. And it comes alive and it takes on this robot form and it is a threat to the Avengers team. And now they have to team up and take it down before it causes huge destruction in the world. There are no strings on me. Now what I thought about this movie? Finally, a movie season where the whole theater is jam-packed of that experience. Just a whole packed theater. Just like people cheering, clapping, all that stuff. It's cool. Now this movie was pretty awesome. I wouldn't say I loved it, but it was pretty cool. Holy shit, this movie started off so fucking awesome. So awesome. Some great action scenes, some really intriguing stuff. And I'm just like, wow, all right, we're already starting like this. Damn right we are. And also, unlike the first one, I thought this movie was a little more serious. A little, mo a little more serious. Even though the fact that they would always throw in a comedy bit every 20 minutes. It felt like. Oh, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying it's bad. I thought it was very interesting. And actually, some of the parts were pretty fucking hilarious. Watch your language, son. Oh, sorry, Cap. That guy. Of course, with superhero movies, you're gonna get some really badass, great action scenes. And you pretty much got it. You get to see Captain America throwing a motorcycle over his head, Thor with his hammer, a little bit with the hammer. <laughs> that was some good stuff. What they didn't do in the first one is that the side characters, well, mostly people would think of them, Hawkeye and Black Widow, they gave him more of a personality, backstory, some actually feelings, and I thought that was kind of cool. And then with Hawkeye, he had some funny lines, some really cool jokes. Uh, you got to see what he's all about, and I kind of like that about him. Now you kind of like, hey, Hawkeye, he's a cool character now. And, and I felt like these two got their time to shine, and I enjoyed that about this movie. Now let's talk about these twins. Yeah, these are the new additions to the Avengers movie, um, the, these twins. So you figured they would get a 50-50 shot with the camera time, but... Damn, Aaron Taylor Johnson must have gave the director the wrong kind of donut or something. Because Brie Olsen was fucking owning it on screen. Holy cow. Yeah, she was just destroying everything. And Quicksilver was running around. It did have some problems. I really enjoyed the first act a lot. And then it got to the second act. And that's when things really kind of slowed down a bit. Her backstories and everything, it played off in the story quite a bit. But I just, something about him, I just didn't care. Something about this movie just didn't really stick with me as much. And also, I, I, the, and also another thing that was kind of disappointing was Ultron himself. I don't know if it's just because I had high hopes for what his character was gonna be. But for me, he wasn't that menacing. He wasn't that terrifying. Like the same setup as the other Avengers, I felt like. Saying there's anything wrong with that. Saying I wish they kind of changed it up a little bit. I don't know, that's just me though. But there's something about these movies that you can't deny. A group of people, they have great chemistry. They really do. It's perfect on screen. And one of my favorite parts of this movie was actually that party. You have to just see them chill together. Now it's time to rate this movie. I'm gonna have to give The Avengers 2, The Age of Ultron, an 8.6 out of 10. And uh, I'm definitely gonna check it out again. 
But uh, if you like this video, hit like down below, leave me a comment, and if you want, you can even subscribe to my channel, uh, follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and I hope you guys have a good day, and enjoy!